Hi, everyone. We're coming to you live on 2K Sports, bringing you the NBA. Moments away, it'll be the Philadelphia 76ers going up against the Indiana Pacers. I'm Kevin Harlan with Mike Fratello and Clark Kellogg. On the sideline, David Aldridge. Well, we're expecting a low-scoring game here tonight. Mike, both teams have dominant defenses. And that starts with their effort. They each play really hard on the defensive end. Whichever team that makes their jump shots, I think they win this one. Mike, Homer on the road, defense travels, doesn't it? I mean, we know that to be one of the things that all coaches kind of try to hang their head on. You're not going to make shots every night, whether you're home or on the road. But you know you can play hard every night at the defensive end of the floor. Well said. And so it's the 76ers getting on the board first. Williams passes to McLeod. Here's Smits. It's deflected. Anderson outside. Russell looking around. Back to Anderson. Passes it to Williams. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Takes the hit and still makes it. That takes focus, strength, and a lot of moxie. Philadelphia shooting their first free throw of the night here. Jason Williams. One shot. Free throw, no good for Williams. Person against Williams. Step back shot. Person, no good. Now Hawkins coming in off a 21 point game, his last outing. Here's Williams. Rebound by Williams. Takes it inside. And the layup falls. Plays with so much ferocity, erasing that size mismatch clearly. He won't be bullied in there regardless of the height disadvantage. First quarter of play with about a minute and a half gone. Left side, Anderson. A putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Putting in the effort to get a second chance look. Nice. Here's McLeod. The pass to Williams. Hey, sometimes you just got to take a foul. That's the best way to protect the basket. Yes, better to send him to the line than allow an easy layup. The Pacers shooting their first free throws of the game. Williams. Taking two shots. The first free throw is good. Williams drops them both. And he's been locked in from the line, proving he's someone that you don't want to foul. Got a piece of it. Williams looking over the floor. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. And here are the 76ers now. Pass to Russell. Just five on the clock. From 12 feet out. Good. Williams has got eight points. 
First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Hawkins against Williams. Williams comes with a double team. And stolen by Bull. And out of bounds as the Pacers gain possession. Pacers trail by four. Outside Williams. Indiana moving the ball around. And stolen by Bull. Hawkins with it. Russell a screen on Williams. Hawkins passes to Anderson. Shot clock at six. Over Thompson. Anderson can't get it to go. For Indiana, they've gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Here's McLeod. Over in the corner, Williams. Pass to Smith. Feeds away. It's deflected. And here's Hawkins. Passes it to Russell. Hawkins with it. He's guarded by Williams. Hawkins kicks to Russell. Here's Anderson. Another miss by Philadelphia. Pacers trail by four. Here's Person. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Williams passes to McClough. Over Russell. They get it again. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. It's so difficult trying to keep Smiths off the glass. He feasts on these second-chance scoring opportunities. Now Hawkins. There's the pass to Anderson. Unable to get that one. And so it's Williams who brings it up for the Pacers. Trailing by two. McLeod passes to Williams. Here's McLeod. To the paint. Here's Thompson. Pass to Person. Here's McLeod. Nobody near Williams. He shoots again. Smith's good. And that ties it up. I mean, good luck. He's seven foot four. I foul him too. It's your only chance. Hawkins kicks to Williams. And it's Anderson atop the key. That one off the back iron and out. And a bit of a shooting slump here. I mean, he can't seem to get anything going. As a coach, this is when you want to draw up something that gets him an easy look at the rim. Or at least a chance to go to the line. Here's McLeod. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. That gives them the lead. Just owning that painted area. I guess the motto is do it till they stop. And Philadelphia calls time here. And this is around the time, Mike, we start to find out which players have made the, the biggest strides in their personal games. That's what's great about the early season. You see the work that the players put in the last few months really paying off. It's amazing the leaps some guys make from one year to the next. Probably hard to find anything more gratifying for a coach than to see those kind of adjustments and advances in a player's game. Am I right? You have to give players credit for putting the hard work in. Did they waste the offseason or did they help take their game to another level?
Anderson with the ball. Picked up by Thompson. And finished off by Anderson. I can't believe what I just saw. What did I just see? Oh, my. I don't know, but it was something special, and I cannot get it out of my brain. You don't see many in-game dunks that look like that. Here's Person after the Sixers pick up two. Now, here is Russell. No points in the game yet for him. Anderson with the screen for Russell. Pass to Hawkins. Here's Bull. He's covered by Person. His first shot coming late, and it's Bull that time on the assist by Hawkins. You know, people rarely talk about Hawkins as a playmaker because he's such a great scorer. But that's a mistake. He can pass it, too. Here's McLeod. Thompson, a screen on Russell. Here's McLeod. Second shot opportunity. Thompson passes to McLeod. Williams looking around. Indiana moving the ball around. Thompson sets the pick for Williams. Passes to McClough. Four on the shot clock. The screen from Thompson. They grab their own miss. The pass to Person. Williams with the ball. Pass to McClough. And a miss there on the triple. The 76ers lead. Anderson up top. He saw him with 29 points last game. Couldn't have asked for a better look. And a little frustration. He didn't get it to drop. Outside Williams. Pass to Thompson. Good, and it's Williams who picks up the assist. They don't hesitate when they get their opportunity to punch it inside. Here is Hawkins. He's still scoreless so far in this one. On the wing, Williams. Over Thompson. Misses off the right iron. Indiana's gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. Passes it to Person. Here's McLeod. Over Russell. And that won't go. Missing the go-ahead bucket. Hawkins with it. Anderson up top. And there's the pass to Hawkins. Now Russell. Got a piece of it. You'll see the block from Smith about once a game on average. And boy, does he have an extensive reach. Williams kicks to Thompson. Pass to McClough. Here's Thompson. He's covered by Hawkins. Outside, Russell. Over McClough. And it's Russell missing. Why would he take that shot? No chance with that kind of look. Beats me. Sometimes you just don't know what players are thinking. Anderson passes to Russell. Floats it up for Williams. And finished off by Williams. What a setup. Great dime. I know what a finish. Putting it down with authority. Woo. That's just great teamwork. Plain and simple. And the Pacers call time here.
And it's a completely new group here for Philadelphia. Bailey has to Dryland. Now here's Sanders. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Physical play by Shrimp, taking the play right into the coverage to draw the foul. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the 76ers. And the first one at the line is good. Whether starting or coming off the bench, Schwerf is valuable to this team. They rely on him to score. That one falls, so he hits both of them. A big guy who can knock him down from the line. There are no easy tricks or hacks for limiting his offensive output. Booker looking around. Butler sets a screen for Booker. Pass to Payne. Inside. Pocket six. And stolen by Wright. One forty-one left in the first. Bailey passes to right to the inside. Shrimp. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. Not a strong finish there, resulting in a rare miss from him. Payne dishes to Booker. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Personal foul, second team foul. For Philadelphia, they have shot just shooting one free throw, missing that one earlier. Booker taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on the free throw. And he misses the second one as well, so he is 0 for 2 that time. To the left side wing. Sanders passes to Bailey. 109 left in the first quarter. It's Shrimp on the wing. Defended by Butler. And the basket by Shrimp. Knows how to find his shot inside. Shrimp a consistent scorer. And so Booker will bring it up for Philadelphia. Trailing by two. Payne with the bounce pass. Philadelphia moving the ball around. He dishes it to Booker. Payne with a screen for Booker. The Pacers pull it in. And here's Sanders. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Wright sets a screen for Sanders. There's the feed to Wright. Let's it go. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Let's credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. Now Payne. A screen on Shrimp. Here's Payne. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. And that does it for the first quarter. It's the Pacers. They're up by four. And back with the start of the second quarter in just a moment. And 
mind, if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And let's quickly break down the game, guys, we have seen from Indiana. What do you think? Their first quarter rebounding numbers off the charts impressive. And, guys, that comes down to one thing, wanting it more. Pacers leading by four. Williams passes to Shrimp. To the middle, here's Thompson, and Thompson throws it down. Takes a lot of pride in getting his teammates some touches. Shrimp notches the assist there. Anderson outside. Now the pass to Hawkins. It's rebounded by Indiana. Thompson's got six rebounds in the game. Here's Shrimp. It's good. Great play by Williams to set it up. Shrimp's got the lead up to eight now for Indiana. The 76 is shooting poorly, just 35% so far. Payne passes to Hawkins. Back to Payne. Out left to the wing. Payne with a screen for Anderson. Over Shrimp. It's rebounded by Indiana. Thompson's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Outside Williams. Baseline J on the way. The shot comes out. Now the 76ers take it the other way. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing that last matchup with Boston. Look, if you want to play winning basketball, you've got to squeeze the orange. If you don't, you're going to lose more often than not. That has to change this time out. They can't just give the ball away. Just about a minute and a half has gone by here in the second. The screen from Thompson. Williams passes to Thompson. Anderson against Shrimp. Hangs. That's in, and the Pacer lead is cut down to six in the bucket from Hawkins. Just because he's known as a sharpshooter, don't get it twisted. Hawkins is more than capable of mixing it up on the interior. Pass to Shrimp. Over Anderson. No good from Shrimp. The 76ers have gotten off to a rough start here in the second quarter, going just one for five. Anderson outside. Here's Hawkins. And the jumper is on the mark. And now just a four-point pacer lead. One thing I like about Hawkins, he doesn't need the ball much to score. Outside Williams. To the left wing. Five to shoot. Three-pointer on the way. Rejected by Payne. Up top, Hawkins. Shrimp against Anderson. Pass to Hawkins. Anderson with the ball. Over Shrimp. No good and tight defense there. Bother that shot. Pacers leading by four. Passes it to Thompson. The screen from Thompson. Here's Shrimp. And Thompson kicks to Williams. It's Shrimp on the wing. Back to Williams. Tries again. Here's Thompson. They could use a bucket. Smith's good. Smith's has got six. You know, given his size, it makes a lot of sense to feed Smith's down low. Really good execution there. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. And Mike, with television more present than ever in day-to-day -day lives, the NBA continues to grow within that medium. Networks have started vying for NBA rights. Even the NBA draft is televised for the last few years. The sport is definitely growing along with TV.
Some changes for Philadelphia. Bowl, he's checked in for Cunningham. Williams comes in for Barnes. And it's Russell in for Payne. Williams kicks to Russell. Now here's Anderson. And the pass to Hawkins. The 76ers again can't hit it. That might as well be a layup if you give him that much space. You have to do a better job of taking away space from him, especially when he's lining up at a three. Now here's Williams. To the paint, trying to find Thompson. He gets it to him. It's good. Great play by Williams to set it up. Williams has got three assists now in this one. Here is Hawkins. Pass to Williams. Thompson with the rebound. Thompson's got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. Outside, Williams. Over to the left wing. Six on the shot clock. Goes up from the top of the key. And it's Russell with the rebound. The 76ers trail by eight. Mike, they are desperate to find a basket. Hmm, they're having a really hard time out there. Mm, you're right. Outside runner. A shot by McLeod, no good. He had space to operate inside, but just couldn't get it to fall. Russell passes to Hawkins. Screen by Russell. Person against Anderson. To the inside. Here's Bull. To end the cold streak. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First personal foul. Oh, it just First drops team. your jaw at how big Bowl is. His arms, they seem like they go on forever. And that helps him be a phenomenal shot blocker. Shooting two. And he can't get the first one. And the 76ers with some changes. Sheik's checked in for Williams. And it's Booker in for Anderson. Second free throw, no good. Pacers leading by eight. Here's Bailey. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Person with the bucket. Hey, it's as plain as pound cake. Keep it simple. They want to see how big this league can get. No such thing as running up the score at this level. Here is Hawkins. Screen by Russell. Hawkins kicks to Booker. 76ers need to get off a shot. And that's out of bounds. Philadelphia will retain possession. Came close to picking that one off. Nice hustle defensively. Even those deflections help. Very disruptive to the offense. Here's Hawkins. And the 76ers get it back. Allen, that's good. Getting aggressive and creating a second chance opportunity. Exactly what coaches want to see. And it's right atop the key. Right with a screen on Hawkins. Here's Williams. Poke loose. Oh, and here comes Anderson all alone. Count the basket. Anderson's got his second basket of the night. And that's all the result of some good defensive awareness there. Williams with the ball. Here's Person. 
It's good. Great play by Williams to set it up. Williams has got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Outside, Russell. Pass to Hawkins. Over Williams. Nice D from Williams. And here's Williams now. He'll bring it up for Indiana. From 18 feet away, that one falls. And it's an 11-point pacer lead. And when you're guarding him, you've got to fight over the top. Lock and trail around the screen and deny the perimeter shot. Williams against Hawkins. Passes to Anderson. Allen with the screen for Anderson. Just four to shoot. It's rebounded by Indiana. Boy, he has to put that one away. A solid opportunity. Gone awry. Now the pass to Person. And here is Red. Indiana moving it around. Right. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. Found a crease, took advantage, and got it in close. An edge to this lead. They're having their way. And here's Hawkins. Left side, Anderson. Over Person. The 76ers again can't hit it. And the D got super lucky he didn't drain that one. Here's McLeod. No points in the game yet for him. Indiana needs to get a shot off. Williams for three. And they recover it. Wright finds Williams to the wing on the left. Pass to Person. Here's McLeod. Pass to Person. Fires the three. He can't get that one to fall. And the 76ers go the other way with it. Coach, they're ice cold on the offensive end. Well, something has to change. Anderson passes to Hawkins. Right side, Russell. Over McLeod. Russell, no good. Pacers leading by 13. Here's McLeod. Fades back. That's tipped. And he gets it back. Here's Williams. He takes it in. It's good. And that's just his third make in 10 shots. An off game for him. You know, when you're down like they are, you can't give up any second chance opportunities. It's hard enough to attempt a comeback. So you have to complete the stops you can. Timeout called the 76ers.
So Indiana ends up with a new group on the floor. One thirty-two left to play here in the second quarter. And it's Sanders with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Personal foul. Second team foul. Booker outside. Right wing. Payne kicks to Booker. Shot clock at six. Cunningham sets a screen for Booker. Passes it to Cunningham. Indiana leading by 15. Here's Bailey. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. 59 seconds left in the first half of the game. Booker in the post. Cunningham dishes it to Booker. Barnes the screen. Booker the pass to Payne. Cunningham a screen on Whitman. Payne's shot is good. You know, coaches will take possessions like that all day long. Phenomenal use of the screen there. Here's Bailey. To the left side wing. Sanders inside. Arms on him. Here's trailing. Cunningham with some nice D. Sanders against Barnes. Payne. The rebound by Schrempf. Well, you know, you'd like to see a little more effort there defensively, but maybe they wanted him to take that shot, baited him into it. And so we conclude the first half. Indiana out in front, ending the second quarter on a 15-6 run. Stay with us, folks. We'll get back just after halftime to start the third quarter. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Here is Williams. The pass to person. Here's McLeod. Just five to shoot. The rebound by Anderson. Anderson's got four rebounds now tonight. Fires from 14. It's rebounded by Indiana. Smiths has got seven rebounds in the game. It's good. Great play by Williams to set it up. Williams has got his fifth assist in this one. Outside, Russell. Second half rolling along now. About a minute played here. Hawkins passes to Bull. Hawkins against Williams. Trying to break that ice cold streak. Excellent D there from Williams. And it's Williams with the ball for Indiana. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 15 points. Pass to Smiths over Hawkins. And that one hits back iron. That's not a bad look. He missed that chance, but he'll get them to fall if he gets space like that. Anderson outside. Williams against Thompson. Williams can't get it to go. Pacers leading by 15. 
Outside Williams. Pass to McClough. Out to the wing. Here's Person. Kept alive. Smith's good. Smith's has got 10. Just a touch more aggression on the defensive glass, and that could have been prevented. Yeah, they've got to get physical if they want to prevent those second-chance looks. Now here's Anderson. Passes it to Hawkins. Outside, Russell. And it's McLeod with the rebound. McLeod's got his fourth rebound in this one. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. The pass to Thompson. Here's McLeod. He's guarded by Russell. Williams for three. No good on the shot. And the 76ers go the other way with it. That'll be the latter half of this two-game homestand. Pass to Hawkins. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. Here's Williams. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And that was a foul. No question about it. He deserved to go to the line after that hit. He's all one from the line, missing on his first trip. Taking two shots. That free throw, no good. So he comes up empty at the line. This offseason, 10 teams making coaching changes, Mike, and uh, the most in a few years. What do you think about this trend? Yeah, believe me, I'm very familiar with it. Owners <laughs> are impatient. They want winners now. So if you don't deliver quick, get that resume refreshed. So how would you approach a job? Win now, or do you want to build, or do you get the assurance? Like, there's so many different factors here. The way you could, as a coach, you know, go. I would say that when you're in a meeting with your owner and general manager and they're telling you how they have great patience and they want to see you build this program, I think you nod your head yes up and down. When you walk out of the room, you say to yourself, I've got to win games right away. <laughs> Nothing to try and be opposite of those guys, but they sometimes have short memories when it gets to the end of the year and the fans are impatient and the media is on you. They make a change rather than remember that long-term plan they talked about. Good insight. Now here's Anderson. Pass to Hawkins. Kicks it to Russell. Over person. That one wide left. Pacers leading by 17. Inside. Williams gets the bucket. Ten points for Williams. The coaches love seeing shots from there. At the rim. Trying to find a way out of this run, Mike. Yeah, looking to regain some momentum offensively. Timeout called the 76ers.
Anderson passes to Hawkins. Also a screen on Williams. Shot clock at five. Here's Anderson. No good. And they can't put an end to this drought. Pacers leading by 19 points. Here's Person. Five points in the game. Williams passes to Smith. Rebound by the 76ers. Williams has got rebound number seven for him tonight. Anderson passes to Ruland. That shot misses. Indiana's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Person kicks to Williams. Here's McLeod. Off target with his three. The 76ers trail by 19. Russell passes to Hawkins. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. Hawkins has got six. Boy, at the offensive end, his game is time so out, impressive. Out. I mean, he's a threat every time up the floor. So the Pacers call timeout their first of the game. Some changes here for the 76ers. Allen comes in for Williams. And it's Payne in for Anderson. Williams. Ten points for him. Here's Grady. Williams passes to Red. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Second personal foul. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for Indiana. Red. Two shots. Two shots. And that one misses. No good on the second free throw. 
And Joe Allen will bring it up for the 76ers. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. Seems to have a knack for hitting guys in their spots. His vision, excellent. Hawkins against Williams. It's Shrimp on the wing. Knocked away. Down low, right. And he banks in the layup. Wright's got six. Nothing like setting someone up. Feels better than making a shot. To me, at least. Now, here's Payne. Pass to Hawkins. And there's the pass to Russell. Lock at six. Now, Hawkins. He's guarded by Williams. There's the triple. They get the rebound. And he throws it down hard with one hand. Love the way he cleaned up the miss and then flushed it back home. Yeah, wasn't that impressive, Clark? Great effort from him to see the play through. Stayed with it. Yep. And that's the level of effort they'll need in order to erase this deficit. Now, here is Shrimp. He's got six. Whistle blows. Yep, that's going to be a travel. Barnes, he's checked in for Philadelphia. Booker comes in for Hawkins. The 76ers trail by 15. Payne with it. Pass to Booker. Allen with the screen for Booker. To the paint. That's good from Allen on the assist from Booker. Use the pick. Get space. Easy, smart basketball. Here's Bailey, defended by Booker. Bailey passes to Shrimp. Now, right. Goes back up. He lays it in. Eight points for him. That's the kind of energy they like to see out of Shrimp. Working on the offensive glass and getting the bucket. Allen, a screen on Whitman. Payne kicks to Booker. Charity swipe shot. Second chance shot. It's tipped. Here's Bailey. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. It's Shrimp on the wing. Allen with the rebound. The 76ers trail by 15. Booker outside. Inside. Here's Barnes. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. Pass to Baylor. He kicks it to Red. Here's Shrimp. Allen with the rebound. Allen's got his fifth rebound in this one. Offensively, Clark, things have sort of fallen apart for him. And they need to recover as soon as possible. Screen by Allen. Booker the pass to Payne. To the middle. Here's Barnes. No good with the layup. Pacers leading by 15. We've got 148 left in the third. Bailey passes to Shrimp. Over Barnes. Right. Allen with the rebound. Allen's got six rebounds here tonight. Booker dishes to Payne. Passes it to Rulin. Barnes down low. It's good. Barnes has got his first two points. Great work on the interior. Pounding the ball in close and going up with confidence. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over.
Cunningham. He's checked in for the 76ers. Cheeks checks in for Allen. Williams now. He'll bring it up for the Indiana Pacers. It's a 13-point game. There's the pass to Sanders. Puts it up from 15. Another shot. Freiling gets the bucket. Effort is a skill and one he possesses in abundance. Philadelphia shooting a pretty wretched 28% in the third quarter. This offense needs to maybe try some different angles. Cheeks with a screen on Williams. And Booker kicks to Payne. Just five on the clock. Barnes. It's rebounded by Dryling. Pacers leading by 15 to the inside. Here's Williams. Here's Shrimp. And he lays it straight in. Shrimp's got four this quarter. You're not going to get stops against him unless you give an effort. Priority and goal number one has to be tightening up the defense. They can't afford to give him open looks. Now here's Payne. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. Here's Barnes. The layup off target. Outside Williams. Over Cunningham. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. And so it's Indiana. Feeling good about their 17-point lead heading into the break. Their strategy has been clear tonight. Work the ball inside, get shots in the paint, and now they are scoring with ease. We come back right after this. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. The 76ers trail by 17. And here's Hawkins. Russell a screen on Williams. Pass to Anderson. Down low. Stolen by Thompson. Shrimp against Anderson. Pass to McLeod. Thompson with it. Some nice passing here by Indiana. Williams with the steal. Hawkins with it. Williams picks him up. Williams against Hawkins. Inside. The inside shot. Russell no luck. Pacers leading by 17. Two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. Well, there's a reason it was way off. He got fouled. Yeah, easy whistle. At the line for the Pacers, Detlef Schrock taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. No good at the stripe this time. Second misses also. The 76ers trail by 17. Russell high post. Russell blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Impressive how he endured that contact and still got the shot to go down. That took a lot of focus and just the right amount of power. The Pacers making a switch here. Persons checked in.
Free throw good, Russell. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Outside, Williams. Passes to McClough. Three-pointer. Second chance effort. They get it back. Thompson. Persistence pays off as they finally hit a shot. Battling for the second chance points there. That kind of effort is why they've got the lead. Defensively, they need to match that energy. Well, they'll have a difficult time getting back into this game. Now here's Williams. Over Thompson. And no good. Trying to use the glass. Here's McLeod. The pass to Williams. Out left of the wing. There's the double team with Bull. Six to shoot. Out to the right wing. Let's it go from 11. They recover it. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Outside, Russell. Pass to Williams. And Thompson sends it back. Person against Anderson. Williams can't hit. The 76ers trail by 16. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. Left side, Anderson. Over person. The 76ers again can't hit it. Well, that's another low percentage shot. He's been settling throughout this game for those kinds of shots. And that one drops. And the Pacers lead by 18. Well, he could have earned some style points there, but he really doesn't need to use the fadeaway when he's that wide open. Russell passes to Hawkins. Fades. No good off the back of the rim. For Indiana, they've gone just 33% from the field in the fourth quarter so far. They are two of six. Here's Williams. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. First personal foul. Second team foul. Shooting for Indiana. Williams. At the line for two. Shooting two. And he makes the first. And Williams drops them both. Now five years since the NBA, Mike, went to three officials on the floor. Uh, it, it appears to me it's definitely helped the game. What do you think? So much action happens at once. You need three refs looking. Sometimes you wish there was a way they could review tough calls. Don't you think that's coming, though, Mike, down the road to add another layer of, of observation? It just makes sense. We have the technology. Why not use it and get it right?
And let's take a look now as we give our nod to our player of the game. Yeah, you know, he kept outdueling the defense over and over. No matter how hard they worked to keep up with him, it didn't phase him. His shooting percentage clearly reflects how unstoppable he was. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Russell kicks to Hawkins. Back to Russell. Thompson against Williams. Down to five on the shot clock. It's good. Good job using his size to see over and past the defense and find the shot he wants. You can't forget about him in mid-range. He will take that. Now here's Williams. Pass to McClough. To the paint. Sweet move. Good for basket number six from him in the contest. He's shooting six for 12. I like when Smith slams his foot on the gas pedal. Just go to work right now. Williams against Hawkins. Pass to Anderson. Williams sets a screen for Anderson. Driving in. And the shot is good. With no one getting in his way, he goes for the easy money. Excellent play. Williams against Hawkins. Williams passes to McLeod. And there's the pass to Person. Here's McLeod. Over Russell. Offensive rebound, Thompson, and it's Thompson with the jam. Sending it right back with authority. He is such an asset, Clark, to his team on the class. Wow. Yeah, keeping the ball out of enemy hands and making sure they finish the play strong. Offensive screen set out of bounds. Let's take a second look at that fantastic block. Reads the play well there and gets himself in the air at just the right time. Terrific denial. Outside, Williams. To the right side. Pass to Smiths. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Smiths has got four points in the quarter. And when he's getting his on offense, it usually results in a lead like this. Anderson with the screen for Russell. Pass to Hawkins. For Williams. And there's Williams. That's good on the assist by Hawkins. Love seeing this kind of interior passing. This is how you break a defense down. Oh, glad we got a chance to check out that fantastic drive one more time. He made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Now here's Williams. To the left wing. Cloud passes to Smith. And that one is stuffed right through. And when Smith has established positioning inside, he's a threat to throw it down. Nice work. Now Hawkins. Russell is screen on Williams. Hawkins passes to Anderson. Lock at six. And it's blocked. Outside Williams. Here's Person. Nice pass. Nice catch and a resounding dunk. Williams. Love the communication. He knew just when and where to send the hot pass. They want to break this scoring drought, Mike. 
Well, they've had a lid over the basket for a while now. Indeed. Russell passes to Hawkins. Williams, a screen on Williams. Here's Hawkins. Shots good by Williams. This is the kind of team player Hawkins is. Wants to feed his teammates. Williams against Hawkins. Williams kicks to Thompson. Here's Smith. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. Williams has got eight rebounds in this game. Williams against Hawkins. Left side, Anderson. Gets an open look and hits. That kind of defense isn't going to get it done, especially when it comes to a scorer of his caliber. Williams against Hawkins. Indiana moving the ball around. Goes up the baseline. Count it. Smiths has got 12 points in just the second half. The basis of our game is the pass. Sharing. Being a great teammate. Russell a screen on Williams. Hawkins passes to Anderson. Passes it to Hawkins. Williams a screen on Williams. Stolen by Thompson. Outside Williams. The pass to Smith. A leaner. Rebounded by Ruin. Ruin's got his fourth rebound in this one. From 10 feet out, again, Philadelphia. The guy with Hawkins' accuracy can simply kill you from mid-range. That's a money shot for him. Time called here. Time Indiana out. decides to talk it over. Looks like to me the coach wants to talk things over and make some changes. Got to stay flexible with your lineups. And his guys know that. It's all about setting the team up for success out there. Deadlift Shrimps checked in for Thompson. Williams with the ball. Williams picks him up. Williams passes to McLeod. Here's Smith. That one good for two. Smith has got 10 points now just in this quarter. And the 76ers call time here. Boy, somebody needs to get these guys fired up so they attack the glass. They're not putting up much of a fight. And this led to way too many second chance shots.
on the 76ers making a change here. Holes checked in. And it's Anderson with the ball for Philadelphia. Pass to Hawkins. Let's it fly. That's good on the jump shot. Hawkins has got four points in the quarter. A nice sense of when to move the ball and get the assist. Hawkins against Williams. Over to the left wing. Here's Smith. And a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. Smiths has got 22. Got it in close, and that just about always helps. Hawkins with it. Russell a screen on Williams. Pass to Anderson. To the middle. He can't get it to go. And it's the Pacers taking it the other way. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two Williams against Anderson. Williams passes to McLeod. Looking to end his cold spell and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. First personal foul, third team foul. At the line for the Pacers, George McLeod. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. Both shots good from the stripe. We've got 148 left in the fourth. Outside Russell. Passes it to Hawkins. Over Williams. The shot by Hawkins. No good. And even though that one didn't go down, that's really good shot selection. This is what the coaches are encouraging. Even when these type of shots don't fall. Now here's Williams. Kicks it to Shrimp. McLeod passes to Smith. Over Bull. Shot is good off the back rim and in. George Smith has got 24 points. Just look at the score differential in this one. I mean, a truly commanding and dominant performance here for the Pacers. And as we see the game winding down, Clark, you have to remember all the second chance buckets this team put on the board. Kevin, I think where they won it was with their offensive rebounds. I mean, we watched them attack the ball and turn misses into makes, it seemed like, all game long. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. Now here's Williams. The pass to Person over Russell. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. That should put a stamp on this one. Great way to close out a victory. Coach Fratello, a basket here would be huge. They need to break up this run. Anderson with the screen for Russell. Pass to Hawkins. Down low. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That was an easy call on that shot. Refs will call that one 10 out of 10 times. Two shots. And that one falls for Bull. Hey. 
That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Pass to Smith. Now here is Shrimp. Passes it to Person. Six on the shot clock. And the three off target. And here's Russell. So no problem for Indiana as they get the win. The it takes physical and mental toughness, Clark, to win on the road. Man, they crushed it. They sure did. And, you know, in terms of talent, there's just no comparison between these teams. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Mike Fratello, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, and our entire 2K crew, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you later.